Are you looking to start a new campaign? Or perhaps one of your characters has recently met their untimely demise? No matter the reason, if you're looking for help creating a new character, look no further as I'll walk you through how I go through that process. Now, if you watch my other videos, unlike them, we're going to start by actually looking at the template. Because, unlike the other ones, we need to start this process by talking to our players and actually sending this template to them by copying and pasting it to them. The reason for this is because a lot of the information we're going to be using actually comes from them. And only a small portion of the information we're actually going to be inputting is us doing it manually. So, let's go ahead and copy and paste this and send this over and we should hopefully get something back. So, once we've heard back from our player, we've probably spoken to them a little bit with each other going over a few details, them asking questions, us answering what we can, and helping them best fill out this as they can. So I've gone ahead and just got something from essentially ChatGPT, got them to fill out a few of these things just so I had something here to show you guys. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and take this and actually to put it to a side for a moment. And now that we have some base information, we're gonna go ahead and go into our Obsidian and actually start filling out some details. Using Obsidian, we can use a community plugin known as Database Folders that allows us to create notes quickly and easily within our vaults. All we essentially need to do for this portion is just start filling out some key information that we got from our players, such as their name, who they're played by, their race or ancestry, heritage, kind of their genders, their occupations, any religions, and various other things that they have mentioned within their notes. So we'll just fill that out really quickly just to get the base bits of information in here. And then we'll actually move into the note and I'll show you how quick and easy this is once we have all this information. So as you can see, we now have our note here and we have some of the base information that we filled out manually ourselves. So what we can do now is if we go and actually get the information we got from our players, and then what we can do is we'll go ahead and just copy. And then we'll just go ahead and replace all of this and paste. And there you have it. Essentially, we have all the information they've given us and put it in there as long as they've kept to the formatting we gave them. Depending on individuals, they may change a little bit to how they like whilst they were filling it out. But for the most part, if they've kept to this, you should be able to just copy and paste it in and you shouldn't have too many issues. If they're going ahead and added their own sections, just find a place where that fits in best for yourselves and you'd be able to fit that in no problem. Now, like I say with all my templates, these questions here, very much up to you guys if you include the questions I've given or if you add more or even less. In short, this is very much just what I use to essentially give some probing questions to get the players thinking about their characters and kind of how they want to develop them. If you don't want to put as much detail in this, you don't have to, or they don't have to answer all the questions. It's just some stuff to get them thinking about their characters and giving you a starting point rather than just trying to think out of nowhere what you want your character to be. So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas. And if you do like the look of this template, you can actually head over to my Patreon where you'll find not only this template, but a whole heap of other templates that I'm building to give you guys the building blocks you need to actually start building your campaign without having to worry about all the information of kind of the situations, the formatting. It gives you guys something you can just take and just start filling out without having to worry about all the organization. To gain access to these templates, all you need to do is sign up for my tier 2 or above patron, where you'll be able to gain access to my vaults and all the templates, CES, and various other plugins that I use. And speaking of patrons, I just want to take a moment to thank all of you who do support me, as not only do you guys get something returned for it, but it does help me literally pay my rent and put food on the table. As we're all aware, it's something that a lot of people are struggling with right now, and I'm no exception. Um, but I must say, if you guys can afford it, I highly appreciate it, as it does help me out. But, again, times are tough, so think of yourselves, and if you need to put money on the table for yourselves, then that is the priority. 
But thank you again for everyone that is actually helping out. And a special thanks to Kiri, my tier 4 supporter, who actually recommended for this to be the template and video for this month. But hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll hopefully catch you next month where I'll have another template for you. Until then, folks, have a good one. Cheerio!